With me here, I have some cabbage that has really overstayed in this kitchen of mine to a point that it almost turned its color. As you can see, it has some cayenne cucumber, but it's still green. And some other time, your cabbage can overstay until it goes white. So, this particular recipe will show you how you can revive that cabbage. And with me, I have my cabbage, and on the other side, I have some beef that is boiling. So, without further ado, let me show you how you can revive it. So now that my pot is dry, I'll go in with some cooking oil. Then I'll add in my onion. Then I'm also going to add in my garlic, but ginger works best for this recipe. So if you actually have ginger, please use ginger to the garlic. Then at this point, I'll add in my tomato and tomato paste. Then I'm going to add some water, kiasi too. I had some broth, that's what I'm going to add. And the purpose of the broth of the water is to help deglaze the bottom as well as to help the tomatoes cook a little bit faster because I want them like a paste. So I've added a few ml of water uh, because the broth was not enough. Then I'm going to cover this and let the tomatoes break down. So like three minutes later, let's check on this. And you can see they have uh, broken down just how we wanted them. So at this point, I'm going with my seasoning. I'll start by adding in some beef cubes. You can also use whatever you prefer for this stage. Then uh, we have another secret ingredient and that's some soy sauce but hear me out first before you start to change so we are not adding some soy sauce because we have white cabbage we are adding soy sauce because we have the beef so i'll just add kiasi so we are not adding because we have the white cabbage or the discolored cabbage we are adding because uh, we have some beef in our recipe and it happens that you also have cabbage which will come later and it also doesn't have color so uh, it's a win-win and this looks beautiful so for the people who asked in my previous episode why I add some soy sauce to my beef is because uh, I think soy sauce is meant for meat and if at all you do not use it for meat at your place please let me know what you use soy sauce for Then I'm going to mix this. I've just added a little bit of the salt, and this is because soy sauce contains salt. The seasoning tea also contains salt, so I'm going to add some little water. And remember, we do not want our cabbage to be soupy, so I just want my beef to be succulent. Then I can go in with my cabbage. Thank you. 
So these are about two minutes later. And I'm pretty sure that the spices are good. And everything tastes yummy. So I'm just going to taste it. One cup mm. Tastes amazing. So this is the perfect time to go in the cabbage. Then I'm going to mix this till everything is well incorporated and evenly distributed. And remember, I always preach not to overcook your cabbage because cabbages are not meant to be overcooked. And you can see how beautiful this cabbage looks like. So, uh, you can decide to use my secret ingredient or leave yours just as we had. Furthermore, we had some tomatoes. Uh, they are also going to do some job. So, I'm going to cover this for about a minute and I'll check on them if my cabbage is ready. So this is perfect, crunchy how I like it, and yeah, so I'm going to switch this off. Then I'll garnish with some frozen coriander. If you have the pressure, please use them. I'm not even sure if the frozen ones will work, but I just have to use them. And I'll see you for something and taste them. As you've seen, that is how you simply revive some old cabbage and a sub nine with some ugali. Let's give this a taste test. Mm -hmm. You can definitely hear the crunch. It's also delicious. This is good. And that's pretty much it for today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.